welcome aspiring and current freelancers. Today, we're going to show you how to sign up for Upwork, the leading freelancing platform, and unlock your potential to earn a great income. But first, let's take a look at some inspiring figures from top sellers on Upwork. This Upwork profile has 100,000 plus US dollars in total earnings. And you can see this is just earnings that they've been able to accrue over 139 jobs. And this is their rates per hour. This other profile has been able to earn over 200,000 US dollars by just doing 43 jobs. You can see this one is a cold email writer. This other profile has been able to earn a total of 10,000 US dollars over the last 27 jobs they've done. Impressive, isn't it? These freelancers have discovered the power of Upwork and are reaping the rewards of their hard work and skills. Now, it's time for you to join them and turn your passion into profit. But before we dive into signing up, make sure you stick around until the end of this video because we have an exciting surprise for you. Now, let's get started with the sign up process on Upwork. So, the first step is to visit upwork.com. Once you are on the home page, you will notice a prominent sign up button on the top right. Click on it and let's embark on this journey together. So here on the next page, you need to select whether you want to join as a client or as a freelancer. For this demonstration, we're going to be joining as a freelancer because we're looking for work. In later videos, I'll show you guys how to create an account using the client side. But today, we will only focus on the freelancer's interface. So I'll select I'm joining as a freelancer and apply as a freelancer. So here on the next page, we have three options to sign up. So the first option is you can continue with Apple if you have an Apple ID. The other option is you can continue with Google if you have a Google email address logged in. And the other option is to key in your details manually here. So I'll go ahead and key in the sample details. This is where you get to input your first name. And this is where you get to give out your last name. I'll copy an email address and paste it here. It's going to take some time to validate my email. I think it's validating to check whether it's a valid email. Then I'll provide my password for the account. Make sure that you select your country on this drop down menu. After you selected your country, you can choose to have them send helpful emails to find rewarding work and job deals. I'll keep this checked and then you will have to agree, understand the Upwork terms of service, including the agreement and privacy policy. After you're done filling the details and checking all these two boxes, just click on create my account. After you've created your account, an email address will be sent to you to verify your account. Come and check the email from upwork.com and uh, click on verify. Now you'll see a congratulations message here that your account has been verified. So I used the name Jack. So hey Jack, ready for your next big opportunity? Basically here is just a success story that I show you from an individual who's earned a lot from Upwork. And uh, these are the steps we're going to take in the next few minutes. So just click on get started. So these questions are completely optional. So if you want, you can skip them for now. So I'll go ahead and skip it for now. What's your biggest goal? I'll skip this for now too. And then nowadays Upwork has two options. You can either find opportunities for yourself. So you will go to the marketplace and find opportunities or you can package your work for clients to buy. So you can list your gigs on your project catalog. Then you tell your clients to buy at some fixed price that you're going to set. We want to select both of these because we will be posting projects and also finding opportunities. I'm also open to contract to hire opportunities. 
So this contract to have opportunities, you can start with a contract and then later you get to explore a full-time option with the client. Click on next to continue to your profile. On the next page, this is step one out of 11, you have to create your profile and it's going to take you five to 10 minutes. So your profile is how you stand out from the crowd. So let's make it a good one. Okay. This is what will make you win jobs. So there are three ways you can do this. You can either import your profile from LinkedIn, you can upload your resume, or you can opt to fill it manually. I'll go with the third option, filling it manually. Now, on this next page, this is where you get to add a title to tell the world what you do. For example, here they've given us a sample of software engineer, and then you can use such a um, separator. You can use this separator to say that you specialize in maybe JavaScript and iOS. Let's say for example you are a graphic designer, you'll just come and write graphic designer. If you are a YouTube content creator, you just come and say YouTube content creator. If you are a um, video editor, you just come and write video editor. If you are a data analyst, you just come and write data analyst. So this platform is basically for anyone, okay? Anyone can use it. Let's go with the example they've given us. We'll go with software engineer. And then maybe we can say Python and then click next to add your experience. So in case you have any relevant work experience, just click on the plus icon to add it. If you don't have any, you can skip for now. Upwork says that freelancers who had their experience are twice as likely to win work. So let's say this guy has developed websites. They just come and add maybe links to their relevant sites. If they were developing maybe Android apps, they can add those too. And for your case, if in case you have graphic design skills, if you have video editing skills, you can just post links of your work, okay? So that clients can look at your work before they can get to hire you. So maybe for this guy, you can see that software engineer. So we can say they were at some company, maybe Amazon. This was the company. And then... You can see the location is, for example, United States and then maybe California. If you are currently working on this role, you can select this. But if you're not working on this role, you can leave it not selected. Maybe you can select the start date for, as January 2020 to maybe February 2022. Maybe the description was build a web server for some certain project. You can include the links down below. Maybe make sure that this is a working link. Mine, I'll just put something to demonstrate. So just put a working link. Okay, this is something just so random. So it's not a working link, but you always make sure that it's a working link and then click on save. So next, you can add your education. Click on next to add your education. So this is where you get to add any relevant education that helps make your profile visible. Maybe you can say you went to Chicago University. Maybe you hold a bachelor's in computer science. You can put the date that you attended the school from, maybe 2016 to maybe 2019. And then you can see that you got maybe first class honors and then maybe save. Make sure that it's detailed. Don't put three words like mine and then click on next. So here, if you have any certifications, you can go ahead and add them. You can select the certification that you've got, maybe AWS, something accredited task. If you have any certificate, just make sure you had them here. But since for now we don't have any certificates, I'll skip this. Here on languages, you have to select the languages that you speak by default. We have English selected, so all profiles include English. And then I'll select my level. My level is, let's say, fluent. And then if you have any other language that you know, you can add it, maybe French. But for now, we don't have any, so I'll delete this and click on Next. So what work are you here to do? So this is where you get to add skills. Your skills can show clients what you offer, and uh, maybe they can help Upwork choose the jobs that they can recommend to you. So ensure that you add your skills here. Maybe you have skills such as, we see these are Python programmers, so they have Python programming skills. And maybe they can say we have JavaScript. 
So make sure you add all the skills that you've got. The maximum is 15 skills. So make sure that you add as much skills as you can. And then cl click on next. So this is where you get to write a bio to tell the world about yourself. So um, this is one of the first things that clients will see on your profile. So take this for example, this is Martin G. Martin G is a five star rated freelancer. He charges $75 an hour and he's done 14 jobs. So this is what the client will be able to see. And uh, down here, you can see that this is his bio. So he's a developer with experience in building websites for small and medium sized businesses. Whether you're trying to win work, list services, or even create whole online stores, he can help you. You can additionally add some point form notes here. Yeah, but basically that this is the format. So <clears throat> for the bio, I just copied and pasted uh, some simple bio here. Make sure it defines who you are and it's precise and straight to the letter, just like Martin G's bio. So, so your bio is updated, click on next. So on the next page, you have to choose the main services that you do offer. So you have to choose at least one service that best describes the type of work that you do. Maybe this guy does web development a lot and uh, maybe scripts and utilities. You can choose any other that you want from the drop down here, whether it's writing, whether it's accounting, whether it's admin support. Make it suitable for your own profile, okay? So that's done. Click on next to set your rate. So here on the 10th section, you will choose your hourly rate. This is the total amount the client will see. Make sure that your hourly rate is competitive enough for your niche. So your hourly rate will depend on a number of factors. So for example, skills and expertise, maybe your level of skill and expertise in your field will play a significant role in determining your rate. If you have extensive experience and specialized knowledge or some unique expertise, you can justify a higher rate. And uh, depending on the market demand for professionals with your skills on Upwork in the broader job market, this can also impact your rate. So um, look at your competition too, the, the rate they charge and um, maybe the level of competition from other freelancers will offering similar services. Make sure that you compare with your competition and um, your portfolio and track record. Make sure you have a strong portfolio and a strong positive client feedback that can boost your credibility and allow you to charge higher rates. So you even have to consider the value proposition the value that you bring to your clients, okay? In case they have to need, they need, they need additional services or maybe specialized knowledge, or maybe they have a niche focus, all right? And then you also need to consider the overhead and the expenses. You may have to take into account your business expenses, such as software licenses, tools, marketing, and self-employment taxes while you determine your rate. So Ensure that um, striking a balance between setting a rate that reflects your expertise and value while remaining uh, competitive in the marketplace. So make sure that you adjust your rates periodically based on different market conditions or maybe the experience that you've gained and uh, the client demand. Okay. Yeah. So for now, I just set a simple rate here. I'll give it. $30 an hour and as you can see guys um, nowadays Upwork takes 10% of your rate or maybe of your charge so this is the service fee they deduct to help them run the platform and provide services like payment protection and customer support so this is just 10% for now 
uh, previously they used to get 20%, they lowered it to 10%. This is a good indication that the platform is growing. So after you've put your rate, click on the next to add your photo and location. A few last details, then you can check and publish your profile. So on this last step, make sure you select the country you're from, the street address. This one they won't show on your profile. So this one will not be shown on your profile. The apartment or suite is optional. I'm going to leave that for now. Then the city, input your city. The state or province will be automatically populated after you've selected the city. Otherwise, it's optional since it doesn't have an asterisk. Put in your postal code here and then provide your phone number. After you've provided your phone number here, you will navigate here and click on the plus icon to upload your photo. You can see here that you're given the photo dimensions. It should be 250 by 250 and uh, it must be an actual photo of you. Okay, so any logos, any clip arts, any group photos and digitally altered images are not allowed. Okay, make sure you upload your real photo. I'll click on upload to choose my file and then I'll choose the file from where I saved it. After you selected the picture, click on attach photo. Then it's going to save your photo. And now you will see that your photo has been updated here. Then click on check your profile. So here in the next page, you'll come and preview your profile. So you can make any edits that you want before you submit your profile. Make sure that the image is the right image. Make sure that the name that you give is the one that you want on your profile. Make sure that everything works perfect for you. And if you scroll down, make sure all the skills are in line with what you expected. Okay. And then after you're done reviewing your profile, just click on submit profile. After you've submitted your profile, you will see that your profile is now ready. Now you can go to browse jobs. So guys, as I pointed to you earlier on, the terms of service uh, in terms of their fees was updated on May 3rd, 2013. Upwork platform will be charging a fee of 10%. And uh, the people that had an existing contract of 5% will keep their rate through the end of 2023. So this is what they want you to acknowledge that you understand and you agree to the account changes. Make sure that you selected it and clicked on OK. As you can see, guys, that's it. We've signed up for Upwork. Our profile is 70% complete. So in the next videos, I'll show you guys how to complete your profile to 100%. So make sure you subscribe so that we can get notified whenever we upload that video. As you can see, whenever you signed up for Upwork, they will give you 50 connects. In the next videos, I'll explain to you what connects are and what how to use them. All right, so we're almost done. But before we wrap up, I want to show you guys how to set notifications to stay updated on new opportunities on Upwork. So click on the picture or your profile and then go to settings. By default, you have to ensure that you have a security question set so that Upwork can verify your identity when they need to. There's a number of questions you can select from. So I select that I understand my account will be locked if I'm unable to answer this question. And uh, do I want to keep logged into this device? Of course, I'll select yes because I don't want to have to put my password again and then save. So I'll give out my password here the password that we set for this account and then click on continue. After settings has opened, click on notification settings on the bottom here. So by modifying the notification settings to suit your needs, whether you want desktop notifications, whether you want mobile notifications, whether you want email notifications on either all activity, 
or if um, the increment message counter for all activity. So make sure that you select the suitable updates or notifications that you need from your account if you want to have contracts notifications these ones are enabled by default group invitations are also enabled by default make sure that you optimize and customize this to your liking and guys congratulations on the completing the sign up process for upwork remember to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to be notified when we upload more videos on optimizing your upwork profile and maximizing your earnings Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next. Bye.